We're in this beautiful theater. We're working through the, equal, the calibration and equalization. I checked that all the speakers work, set up the microphone, started to, to equalize, you know, test, measure, equalize, and listen to channels. I always start with a center channel. I got the center channel to a point where it sounds good, measures well. Next thing I like to do is to lay in the subwoofer. Uh, this room is equipped with four subwoofers and what, what I call in a quad array into the four corners as a good start point. And by doing that, you reduce standing ways a fair amount. But in order to optimize it, you actually want to look at uh, setting the time delays between those subwoofers so that the energy is most concentrated in the middle of the room. There's four microphones in the middle of the room where listeners are going to be sitting. And I'm currently measuring the four subwoofers fed by the same signal. What we're listening to is, uh, is pink noise coming uh, off my, my generator. Uh, I'll turn it off over here. So this is this is a generator uh, in inside room EQ wizard. I'm playing pseudo random pink noise. It's um, in this case I have it actually feeding the center speaker, but in which I've muted the center speaker and also moved the crossover up to 200 hertz. So we're actually seeing what the subwoofer system does within its whole passband. So just raw right out of the box the four subwoofers are playing as it is right now they're playing down to about 30 hertz um and there's a peak here a little dip here a peak here before equalizing that i'm going to go ahead and play with uh, with delays and just look and see hey can i actually time align these things to get a little bit more extension on the low frequency flatten things out a little bit so I'm going to start off, I usually like to start off at 4 milliseconds on the back subwoofers, which in the way this is set up, uh, upwards up 1 and 4 are the back subwoofers. Let's see what that does. So in, in blue behind, uh, we have the four subwoofers without any any particular tuning. I mean, just no, no delay, no EQ, nothing. I do this, and actually this boost over here at uh, 60 hertz gets even stronger. So the system is more efficient at 60 hertz, but we're not really looking for very much here. Um, we're looking for energy down here. We did get a little extra extra gain here at 25 hertz. We went from 70, 78 dB to 80 dB. So we got two dB more, more um, efficiency down there. Meh, it's not, it's not great. So then I start to increment one millisecond at a time and see does it get any better? So now I've got five milliseconds of delay on the two back subwoofers. Meh, not, not too exciting. So let's back off and uh, let's go to no, no delays on the back again. And I'm gonna check and see what happens if I, if I add delay on the two front subwoofers to see how they're, how the, how the, um, the standing waves are affected by a handicap in time. So let's look at this. So delaying the front subwoofers by four milliseconds reduce this peak, um, which makes it look flatter, but in fact loses three or four dB of efficiency at that point. I don't know that I'm excited about that. Um, and we didn't really get any significant improvement at the lower frequencies here. So. Let's see what happens when we go to six milliseconds uh, of delay in the front subwoofers. Now we're starting to lose efficiency here. So this is uh, 40 hertz. We don't want to lose energy there. We want to keep that going maximum. There's a little boost of energy here, way down. Not, not really worth it. So right now it's looking at this room, like this room is, is in terms of standing waves, is pretty symmetrical. There isn't, um, there isn't a really strong emphasis from any one direction from the front to the back. I can hear, as I'm introducing these delays, I can hear the spectrum of this pink noise changing. You probably can't tell on the phone. Um, the microphone in there is not appropriate for that, but I can hear it changing. Now, um, out of curiosity, I'm gonna see what happens if I delay the left the left versus the right. That doesn't usually lead to very much, but it's worth checking. So 
I'm gonna. I, I like to start at four milliseconds because that kind of get gets you into pretty good good space relative to uh, where things are gonna happen. So right now I've delayed the two left subwoofers by four milliseconds, and we've lost efficiency at 100 hertz. Don't like that at all. What we're generally looking for is a combination of a smoother response, a more extended response, something that that uh, gets us more energy in the in the bottom octave um, and maybe the filling in of a, of a hole somewhere so now what I did is I introduced four milliseconds of delay on the two right subwoofers and again compared to the blue curve that's behind which is the the, the no no delay it's a net loss so we're not going to do that um, so ultimately it is looking like this room is happy to be driven symmetrically um, oh, I just noticed I entered a wrong value here. 40 milliseconds instead of four, but I don't expect very much of anything. Yep. So not, 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 a, not any significant advantage. <laughs> so I am going to settle on a, on a drive of, um, probably just two milliseconds of delay on the two back subwoofers, uh, cause I think that was worth it. hear it uh tim you, you probably hear that too when i switch it in like the, the the tonal balance changes a little bit in the room what we're gaining from that is what a little boost over here a little loss over here uh, maybe i don't like that so much um and so it's this iterative process of examining what the room is doing to 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 our subwoofers um there are other computerized optimization schemes that that are developed by DSP programmers and I find they work they just take a lot longer than this and and they're doing their thing you don't really know what they're doing I actually like to understand what the interaction is between the speakers the room and uh, the overall acoustical character so right now I'm gonna settle on four milliseconds of delay on the two back subwoofers because it gives us it does give us actually more gain over here which is worth it i'm going to actually turn that way down which will make the drivers idle essentially i'm going to turn this down by about six or seven db in that range we get a little bit of extra gain here at 25 hertz that's worth it uh, next step is i'm going to equalize that whole result until that's nice and smooth and flat